We've had all the heavy hitter AAA announcements, but that doesn't mean that indie is taking a back seat this year. Here's some of the indie brilliance on the way in 2021 and beyond. The latter half of the year is always fit to bursting with incredible big releases. But if you're looking for something a little different from smaller development teams, 2021 has some seriously exciting indie games on the way. There's a couple that will probably sneak into next year. Yes, yeah, Silk Song, we're looking at you. But the majority of the games in this list are scheduled for a 2021 release. This means whether you're looking to team up with a beaky friend in a post office or just organize a unique B&B, there's something right up your quirky alley here. Subscribe to Logitech G so you never miss another video from us and prepare for some of the most exciting indie games to come in 2021 and beyond. Let's kick off with a game that gave some of the team problems back in a Let's Play when they had to, well, jump at the same time while working at a post office. Three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, <laughs> two, one. one. Oh no. <laughs> Kiwi is a frankly adorable co-op adventure, where you'll have to grab a feathered friend and work out how to send mail successfully before the time runs out. You're probably already sold on the concept, just look at these two, but Kiwi constantly mixes things up and is full of inventive puzzling that genuinely feels like proper teamwork. Well, teamwork with lots of stamps, stickers and spelling. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. What's a natural progression from working in a post office? Well, delivering the mail, of course. Which is exactly what you do in Lake. Here we arrive in the peaceful province Oaks, in Oregon in 1986 with Meredith Weiss. She's taking over her father's post round for a bit to try and get away from her stressful job in the city. And while driving around in this adorable, chunky little post truck is a big part of the game, this is a full narrative-based experience about building relationships, nostalgia, and exploring that nagging feeling of what would have happened if you'd just stayed where you grew up. So return to the 80s and spend two weeks delivering mail in a town by a lake. Is that another parcel? No, don't worry, this isn't secretly a list of post games, but bears would be a brilliant delivery. Let's Build a Zoo is an upcoming game from Spring Loaded, where the concept is literally the title. Here we'll be tasked with building and running a delightfully pixelated animal theme park. But we won't only be in charge of keeping our guests entertained with shops and ice cream trucks or hiring employees. We'll also be able to create all kinds of magical hybrid animals. Is that a cross between a monkey and a peacock? I'm just not going to say that name out loud. There's no getting around it, moving house is stressful. Packing everything you own into boxes, ugh. But it's a very different story on the other side. Suddenly you have a clean slate, a fresh new space to make your own with all your things. Herein lies the joy of unpacking, a game all about that satisfying ripping open of a box and finding a new perfect home for everything. Plus, you get to work out the story of the person you're creating a new life for just by contemplating and moving around their possessions. Definitely not creepy at all. Let's go back to the 80s again for a laid-back fishing RPG set in eastern Canada. Moonglow Bay is a beautiful voxel world that's perfect for those of us who spend most of our time in games like Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing with a rod in our hand. Here we can fish the day away with purpose as we explore a quiet town and build a thriving business as well as forge vital relationships. There's a heartfelt story in here too and it looks like the perfect balance of exploration, narrative and a good old fashioned hungry quest for new species. We can't bait. I mean, wait. It's the existential, age-old question, does a bear run a B&B &B in the woods? 
Well, he does in Bear and Breakfast, where we must build and furnish the ultimate guest house for the tourists who make their way into the forest, blending management with plenty of story-based side quests and other hijinks. Bear and Breakfast is the kind of game we had no idea we needed in our lives. Build a reputation by providing the ultimate in hospitality instead of eating people. Sign us up. And yes, for breakfast too. I'll have the pancakes, please. Thank you for choosing Palm Voyage. No refunds. Sometimes you just need to hear who is making a game to know exactly why you need to play it. Fulbright has only previously made Gone Home and Tacoma, but that means you already know that Open Roads is going to be a very special narrative journey that will get you right in the feels. Open Road stars Kerry Russell and Caitlin Dever as a mother and daughter who discover a secret stash of old letters and notes in their attic. This sends them on a road trip to uncover the truth behind their family's secrets and on the hunt for potential lost treasure, just as long as we don't cry as much as gone home. Yes, it was revealed as part of the Xbox E3 showcase, but that doesn't mean that Slime Rancher 2 isn't still indie. Monomi Park Studio is introducing even more adorable bouncing slimes into the mix as we explore the new world of Rainbow Island. The good news is we'll still be trying to suck up smiley creatures into a vacuum and trying to stop them escaping and eating each other's waste. And if you haven't played the original, you've got plenty of time to catch up with this grinning lot, as the sequel isn't out until 2022. Prepare yourself for some joyous farming and chill organization. If you're still on your way through Hollow Knight, we completely understand. In fact, it's important to say that even mentioning the full sequel definitely isn't intended to rush you, but Silk Song is coming. Team Cherry has been hard at work with a full follow up to the adventures of the night. This time we play as Hornet, the princess protector of Hollow Nest, exploring a brand new colorful world with fresh abilities, weapons, and of course, new foes to take on. Team Cherry is teasing coral forests, mossy grottos, and misted moors, and just seeing colour in this universe feels like something we need to experience immediately. But no, don't rush through your playthrough. So those are some of the most exciting indie games coming this year and beyond. Let us know which ones you're most excited about in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more features just like this one. If you do already subscribe, hit that notification bell to know exactly when our next video lands.